I kind of think of myself as a sensory biologist. I like to get the, the animal's perspective of the world around it. And a lot of my background or my work is focused on listening, hearing, sound, and the sea. There you go. The first way we started thinking about this is just listening to the reefs in general and putting out these sort of sound recording microphones called hydrophones. And we set it to record for usually one minute every 10 minutes. And that allows us to get essentially the patterns of what's happening on a reef. We kind of set up these frames, essentially these anchors. They're just rebar stakes. We affix the listening structure to that rebar stake and then we can leave it there for a month at a time. What we're really listening for or assessing on reefs is the fish sound. So we think that's really, really important. You can begin to kind of then listen for changes in your reefs. And you can tell that disease is coming out or the warming is happening or there's a, a change essentially in the animal patterns and their calling rates on that reef. And when that disease hits, we can A, notice a very audible difference in those reefs, particularly that coral hub, that door coral, where it's a lot quieter about. And it kind of shows you that you're beginning to kind of lose that community center of the reef. And losing those is going to be really detrimental to the reef. The challenge is that a lot of our reefs are in remote locations, or it's not necessarily easy to go out there and access them um, day after day or hour after hour. So you need ways to kind of monitor in an effective way, and then you can apply your treatments. One of the things that we're doing now is trying to build that into real time. So we've made this buoy that has a little iridium satellite or connection on there and hydrophone just at the bottom of the buoy. And we can put that on a reef and it can listen and then that radios the data directly up through the now satellite network. We're finding that healthy reefs have a particular sound and that can increase coral settlement on those reefs. So that begs the question, can we play sounds and, and bring larvae back to that reef? And that's where we're going now. So that's, that's a really intriguing finding that we can begin to kind of rebuild that reef.